Hi everyone, we're going to talk about some terms used while describing anesthetics. Um, all of these terms, I have learned them myself online. So if I make mistakes or something, please correct me so that we can, um, you know, rectify them. So yeah, let's get started. We're going to talk about the blood gas partition coefficient, the MAC, which is the minimum alveolar concentration, the AV gradient, the partial pressure, and the lipid solubility of the anesthetic. So um, let's get started. Uh, the blood gas partition coefficient, which actually means that how much the drug is soluble in the blood versus how much is soluble in gas and by gas we mean that the air in the alveoli I guess so if I say that um, the anesthetic loves the blood so it will have like a higher solubility in blood and so it will have a high blood gas partition coefficient um, the way you want to think of this is think of anesthetic like a molecule who loves the blood um, you know what think of yourself who loves a place say like pizza hut so you want to go inside pizza hut like really quick you want to call your friends to party and you're gonna like saturate the place and you're all happy so when um, this guy who has a very high blood gas partition coefficient who loves blood is gonna go inside the blood and be like yay let's party here this is what i've dreamed of this is what i wanted to be and they're like you know what let's call our friends and stay here and party and let's not go into the tissues and the tissue we're gonna talk about is the brain you know that's where you want to uh, your anesthetic to go but these guys they love the blood so they're gonna like, stay or call all their friends and you know no pressure guys just call everybody up so um take for example another anesthetic and you know what he hates the blood it's like oh i hate this place uh, why am i here so this guy has a low blood gas partition coefficient so it rather stay in gas than stay in blood anyway so you put it in blood and it's like oh i hate this place let's get out of here and you know what they'll go through directly into the brain they're like I, we don't want to stay in the blood so we rather stay in the brain or any other tissue we get well we're talking about brain right now not to confuse you so when you're talking about the blood gas partition coefficient you're actually talking um you're actually understanding a lot of terms you see the guy who had a high blood gas partition coefficient required lots of anesthetic to saturate the blood so that it can go finally into the brain when there is no space left so uh, when you have a high blood gas partition coefficient it means that you need lots of amount of the anesthetic to saturate blood where um, whereas the guy with the low blood gas partition coefficient needed like a little anesthetic to saturate the blood and then they're in the brain you see they, they were very quick they just jumped into the blood and jumped into the brain so they have a very rapid onset of action whereas the the anesthetic with the high blood gas partition coefficient they're a very slow onset so you can think of the brain as home sweet home i know most of you like going home but let's say that you know you like the pizza hut more so you're gonna go home like a little late so you have like a slow onset of action when you want to go home and um, right now is a good time to talk about lipid solubility the guy who the anesthetic who didn't like blood actually like lipids more and you know the brain is full of lipids so if you have a higher lipid solubility it means that you'll prefer going inside the brain than going inside the than staying in blood so um yeah so that clears a lot of concepts 
um, revising we would say uh, the blood gas partition coefficient tells you a lot about how much anesthetic is required to saturate the blood about the onset and about the lipid solubility now we're going to talk about the minimum alveolar concentration you see you give the anesthetic in the lungs right and from the lungs is gonna ultimately reach the alveoli and into the blood now uh, minimum alveolar concentration is actually um, the amount of anesthetic the minimum amount of anesthetic uh, that is required to you know send, um, uh, anesthetize like 50% of the population to a noxious stimuli like a pinprick or maybe cut the guy <laughs> or yeah all of that so um, basically what you want to think here is that you know if I give like say three molecules of my anesthetic and this guy is anesthetized I mean 50% of the population is anesthetized it means that this um, anesthetic had a very minimum alveolar concentration required to you know anesthetize like 50% of the population it means that this anesthetic is really very potent and on the other hand if you're talking about say a uh, anesthetic with a high MSE so it's like you took like 10 15 molecules and still after like a dozens of molecules like it took like 50 molecules and then the guy went into anesthesia it means that this guy had a high minimum alveolar concentration and it has a low potency it's a fairly easy concept I don't think people get confused here but uh, yeah there's no harm mentioning it so uh, we're done with that now we're going to talk about AV concentration gradient um, this I learned online and um, I'm not sure if it's right so yeah just correct me if I'm wrong okay uh, when you have uh, an organ say the liver and you have an arterial side and a venous side right and normally this is talking about any drug which is not an anesthetic okay so according to fixed law if it says that if you have a very high AV gradient it means that the tissue um, loves the thing uh, the the drug is very soluble in the tissue um, I use love for solubility all the time so bear with me so let's say you give like five molecules of anesthetic from the atrial side and you know when you see the venous side only one molecule comes out so the AV gradient is 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 which is very high so that means that the liver took up like four molecules which means that the molecule liked the liver slash soluble so um, let's take it the other way around suppose I gave five molecules but this time four of them just came out of the liver uh, of like on the venous side so this time your AV gradient is five minus four which is one which means that the AV gradient is less which also means that the drug is not very soluble in the liver and um, it has a low AV gradient now when you're talking about anesthetics it's a completely different concept you're talking about the lung because that's how you give the anesthetic talking about the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary vein when you're talking about the AV gradient and the tissue in question is not the lung or the brain trust me they're talking about blood when they're talking about AV gradient so when you give an anesthetic which has a high AV gradient they're talking about blood which which kind of means that the anesthetic loves blood a high AV gradient actually means that the anesthetic is soluble in the tissue and the tissue they're talking about is blood so yeah uh, that's about AV concentration gradient so 
when you're talking about this blood solubility thing you know you have the same uh, concepts again you know you have the uh, if you have a blood loving thing you have uh, you require like a lot of uh, anesthetic to saturate the blood you will have the slow onset and you will have the um, yeah so that's that so AV concentration gradient doesn't mean like the regular tissues where you're talking about something getting picked up by a tissue the it's getting picked out by the blood because you're giving the anesthetic through the lungs um, yes and then there is this another concept of partial pressure um, this is how I imagine it and uh, it's not even scientific so bear with me uh, suppose this is guy who doesn't like blood and you know you just put him there and he's like get away from me I don't want to stay here he's applying a lot of partial pressure to the surrounding tissues so this guy is if you plot a time uh, versus partial pressure graph this guy will quickly um, you know give a lot of partial pressure in a very short period of time they just hate the blood okay and you know those good guys they're like hey just come along and we love you and we don't give any pressure to anybody anyone can come here so these small guys they just occupy the whole place and they don't like exert pressure on anybody so they have a like a low rise in partial pressure they're the good guys they like everybody and this is the bad guy so when you're talking about rise in partial pressure if your partial pressure rises like really quickly that means that your anesthetic doesn't really love blood and you know what if you don't love blood you're gonna jump in and go home which is the brain so they will have you know uh, little anesthetic required to saturate blood and uh, very fast onset of action and um, yeah they're probably all uh, lipid soluble so uh, that's all I think I covered everything um, we talked about the blood gas partition coefficient uh, MAC AV gradient and the partial pressure so uh, I hope you had fun learning and I hope that made sense and I hope that was right um, yeah that's all stay awesome Thank <laughs> you.